independent media has responded to a letter of demand by Mo, Mo, Mohammed Yakob Valda, independent media PTY Ltd, and Lindy Wesisulu. That is how it reads. So what I'm going to be doing, uh, we're going to be talking about this. This is the letter written by the attorney to independent media and Lindy Wesisulu about the expose of a Gulam account that is associated to the cabinet uh, because it has been reported to Guti the information that this account tends to share. It's very crucial information and information that uh, look that an ordinary person wouldn't have obtained unless or not unless otherwise you are involved with uh, people in high places. So the attorney or his attorneys, they wrote this. We act on behalf of Mr. Mohammed uh, Valda uh, Velda, here after our client. Our client instructs us as follows. Uh, 2.1. On the 15th of July 2024, a publication was, was posted by the official IOL News X account with the caption Independent Media Unveil. One of the P one of the people believed to be behind uh, the Gulam's account. Um, hashtag unmask project. The caption was followed by our client's full names, age, location, occupation, um, photography as a screenshot of the publication is attached here unto as an extra A. Right? That is the letter coming from the attorney. Uh, they wrote this agent application as well. So we're going to be talking about that. And I will insert a video from IOL where they are up apologizing and also giving a further update to this, right? Uh, to, 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 to this expose that happened where we learned, where Abu Ramaphosa was exposed, uh, where we learned that um, they, 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 they've used this account or oh, there's somebody in the main, look in the, look in, in, in the office there who gave this account very crucial information. It is something that they are also emphasizing that, no, this account, really, guys, this account has got, uh, uh, look, they have crucial information that it's not like, uh, look, it's not like an ordinary person would have, uh, have gotten such information. That is what they have said. They, look, they said that uh, today, as independent media, we will uh, reveal the, uh, look, the individual behind the notorious X account known as Gulam, right? Today we will reveal the identity of this person behind hash look at Gulam. The person behind this account is Mohammed uh, Jakob Valda. He is 37 years of uh, 37 year old male from Deben, associated with the University of KwaZulu Natal. He owns a PhD. He is also known as a stand up comedian. He is also a radio personality of some sort. By his own account. He has multiple personality. So yeah, the, the lawyers took it from there. But don't worry. The IOL themselves are about to provide a very crucial and a very valuable uh, available information on this one. But before we can even proceed with that, guys, wait a minute. I would like you guys to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also, guys, want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so now i'm, I'm, I'm don't worry don't worry hey guys there's more information that has emerged uh proving the fact that hey man uh, mr gulam 
is a very dangerous man. He's not a man that you can take him for granted. He's, that man is dangerous. But okay, let me read this probably before I allow you to, before I let you listen to the IOL. It says, today we reveal the identity of the person. Behind. Okay, we've read that, 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 we've read that, that one. 2.2.3 says, we have gathered a, bo look, a body of evidence of activities which are harmful and contrary to the principle of democracy. This includes a direct link to two major South African political parties' senior leadership involved in a, a local, um, uh, disinformation campaign. Number two, there is a network of disinformation. So I'm going to continue then with, the, with, this, uh, with this information. But before I can even continue with this, I would like you guys to listen to IOL as they, they have issued an official statement as well. Independent media, this is what they said. Good day. I'm Audrey Senegal de Vet, editor in chief of Independent Media. And I'm Vyasan Subramani, chief executive officer of IOL. On Monday, we held a media conference where we addressed the issue of the Gulam MV Twitter account. We revealed that this account is a sock puppet operated by an individual connected to high-profile politicians and senior government officials. Today, we would like to provide an update on the Gulam Envy investigation and outline some important information and facts that have subsequently emerged. We can confirm the following facts. Gulam Envy is Gulam Mohammed Suleiman Vada. He is from KwaZulu-Natal, KZN, and spends time in Gauteng and the Western Cape. Vada has a history of switching political allegiances, having been a fervent supporter of Jacob Zuma, later shifting his support to Cyril Ramaphosa, and now aligning with the DA, ANC, GNU. Gulam Envy's tweets are often retweeted by troll accounts and sophisticated bot network. He has access to sensitive information, including ministerial appointments. Farah has collaborated with other media houses and social media accounts and has maintained relationships with senior ANC and DA officials. Additionally, we discover Farah's connections to Ismail Bramji, who, according to the Lord Sun, maintains deep networks and traces back to the apartheid era and P.W. Boeta. Initially, our investigations identified two individuals linked to the Gulam MV Twitter account, both named Mohammed Vauda. However, during the press conference, a technical error occurred in that the wrong profile was shared with our content teams and the public. This error resulted in the incorrect identification of a UKZN lecturer and comedian being identified as the person behind the account. For this error, we unreservedly apologize to Mohammed Yakub Vauda, who was mistakenly identified. As Chief Executive Officer of the IOL platform, I will be taking concrete steps to ensure that such an oversight does not occur again. Both independent media and IOL deeply regret the error. As responsible media outlets, we have taken the necessary steps to correct the information provided and published. I have also attempted to reach out to Mohammed Yakub Vauda, the university lecturer and stand-up comedian, to convey a personal apology to him. That being said, as a result of our findings and further investigation, we can reveal the following. We have established the phone number linked to the Gulam MV account ending with the numbers 561. We have established the email addresses linked to the Gulam MV account. And we have linked Gulam Mohammed Suleiman Vauda to properties in Winterton and Morningside in KwaZulu-Natal and Chwane in Gauteng. We have subsequently instructed our attorneys to go ahead with legal proceedings against Gulam Mohammed Suleiman Vauda, who, according to our information, is a known criminal. Gulam Envy is Mohammed Wada, specifically Gulam Mohammed Suleiman Wada. He has been criminally accused on a number of occasions, with charges mysteriously being withdrawn. He has a colorful lifestyle that is funded by a network of powerful individuals. Gulam Mohammed Suleiman Wada should be charged under the Cyber Crimes Act and we call on the relevant authorities to arrest him. Independent media believes in our constitution, democracy and social justice. 
since the Gulam MV account was established in 2018, it has targeted persons in government, Chapter 9 institutions, the media, political parties and business. These targets all have one thing in common. They are all perceived to be against President Cyril Ramaphosa and Fakili Mbalula. Gulam MV tweets show that he has intimate knowledge of government and its decision making. It is clear that Gulam MV is provided information by senior politicians, those that work with him and those who use him as a sock puppet should also be prosecuted. This is one of the many images we have on Gulam Mohammed Suleiman Wada. Over the next few weeks, we will reveal a series of exposés as we continue to unmask Gulam Envy. We do this in the interest of democracy and to expose the vast network of misinformation peddlers and their handlers. We do this in defense of the South African public. Thank you. Okay, so let's continue then reading. It continues to say, uh, disinformation operative number three there has been linked to several government departments and officials uh, and lastly there is a network of funders who fund the misinformation campaign and troll among mohammed's um uh, snatched uh, defenders is uh, Ash, uh ismail uh, is, uh, is what ismail abri uh, 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 who who, according to the Lodiam Sun publication, was known ally of apartheid president F.W. Botha. Oh, okay. The the audio recording of the look. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, of oh, look above mentioned press conference is also fully available on X on the uh, look on this link. The press conference was further advertised on official IOL news account on the 14th of July and uh, look um, in, in closing the YouTube link on the Twitter space here unto a, a screenshot of the publication is attached here unto as annex to be similar um, a similar local promotional uh, for local post were published by the chairperson of the independent media doctor serve and other independent media x account on the 15 on the, look wait um i'm reading the the letter of demand on the 15th of uh, on the 15th of july 2024 an article was published by iol website the article repeated um the above mentioned false harmful and uh, deformatory statement made uh, concerning our client, the article is attached here unto as annex to C. This article, which uh, which each of the uh, of you is quoted or mentioned, further alleged that our client, among other things, um, uh, is behind the account who's been harassing, harassing and def defaming and uh, uh, spreading misinformation online. Look, this has been working. Look, has been working to undermine the country's hard-fought democracy. That is what they are saying here. Uh, maybe I should. Yeah, uh, the the words were the fonts were very, look. The words were very small, so now I've increased it. It says it is a direct link to major political parties that have the senior leadership. I think we've already read that, read that one. So let's look at the, this one as well. So the long and short of what I am basically reading to you here. Is that there was a um, there was a uh, there was a um, there was a there was a there was an apology from e, e I O L about Ukulam. Basically, Ukulam, the one that we were showed at first, uh, the media made a mistake. Uh, now they showed us that this one is even more powerful. Like. He, criminal activity is the most dangerous guy. We're probably passing him on a daily basis, <laughs> but we don't know it's him, right? Uh, number two, he is look. He has been in and out of prison. I mean, of of, 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 of not prison per se, but uh, we are dealing with a most dangerous person here. And notorious to be that to be specific, because according to IOL. 
we get to learn that uh, this person is basically is basically this person is basically in and out of um, 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 police and their case goes missing. And if a person go, go look, is powerful to, the, to, to that extent where their cases just goes missing, it tells you that, hey, yeah, you are dealing with a very, very uh, well-connected individual if their cases just did, just get disappeared. That's um, that's some of the interesting things that have just happened right now about Umis Ukulam and then these people saying, writing this to say that they will sue Ilok Abolindi with Sulu and all the stuff. So yeah, it is quite interesting. The revelation is quite interesting, but it also speaks. I think we are learning quite a lot from the revelation that have been made up to so far. But there's one thing as well that I want you to learn is the fact that. I haven't given you all this information for free. Why don't you subscribe and do the honorable thing, guys? Me and you guys will see each other on the next video. But until such a time, good people, please take care.